Autobahn is an uh, international uh, architectural and design practice with the motto multisplity in design, singularity in experience. The experiences that we have are based on different scales, which include commercial and public spaces, large scale of residential uh, areas, hospitality and transportations. By mentioning transportation, uh, we bring out today's topic, aviation, where our concern is and main subject is terminal design here. In Autobahn's 14 years of architectural journey, aviation has been our area of concern in, in the last five years. Uh, when we got first involved in our aviation-related project in 2011 with the CIP launch of Turkish Airlines, uh, which I'm going to talk a little bit about it later on, we focus on our most valuable know-how, hospitality. This know-how becomes our uh, driver in our approach, and the approach that we have is extremely human-focused. Everything we design is linked back uh, to final human experience. And nowadays, people started using airports more frequently, especially business people uh, who has difficulty in finding some time for their own needs. Now they uh, spend their most of their spare time in the airports. As you pass through that gate, it's kind of being trapped and in a limited area with a certain time or even uncertain sometimes. So that's why we wanted to provide them uh, the best environment for spending their unavoidable time. And this needs uh, reveal some other sectors with it. Uh, and airports now today started to be operated like shopping malls. Uh, and we cannot deny that the, the, we cannot deny that it creates a large commercial income for the airports and both the airlines. So where the competition starts here, and uh, they, try, they are trying to be the better host for their passengers. Our first aviation-related project, CIP launch in 2011, uh, it is the shorten of commercially important person, started with 4,000 square meters and in two years, it is expanded to 6,000 square meters. And nowadays, it is hosting uh, more than 2,000 people daily. The briefing was for this project uh, to, create a, to create Turkish hospitality at its highest level with some Turkish cultural footprints in it. And uh, of course, in a contemporary and progressive way, we, we were trying to do it. And we inspired by the domes of Istanbul, uh, the traditional roads in sites uh, and, uh, and the caravansarais we called. For example, maybe some of you been in, uh, visited Istanbul and had been in Grand Bazaar. Uh, it's, a, it's an oldest market in Istanbul uh, with 61 streets covered by multiple domes and it is creating one single space at the end. So we started to form, we started with playing with the form, actually, of the uh, ancient Ottoman portico, which is really common form, uh, form in our memory that reminds us a, a structure that creates a, creates a meeting area. By exaggerating the form and uh, and abstracting this structure, we created a series of six meters high spherical modules, each housing a different amenity, such as restaurant, library, kids playing area, and even a golf court here. Uh, the 40 modules that are made from epoxy fiber creates meeting and uh, retreating areas by itself. The black frames here you may see the black frames are also creating a, a, a clever device to disguise the in electrical and mechanical e equipments here. With this project, actually, we received very positive and encouraging feedbacks. 
especially from the people who were going to airport in the last minute and now they are uh, preferring to arrive earlier and spend their time uh, there to have a drink or gather with people and have privacy for work also. Creating this feeling is very valuable for us because traveling can sometimes be a very disturbing psychology as you may have to spend uh, your most of the time there. Finally, CIP launch project uh, with architectural design and the message that it gives out, uh, it showed us that we have done a right job here and, and it encouraged us for the next step with the, also with the uh, awards it takes, international awards it takes and the nominations of being uh, one of the best 10 lounges in the world. So it encouraged us, as I said, the next step, Haider Aliyev International Airport in Baku. Here, uh, here we have 65,000 meters square area, closed area, where our scope was 45,000 meters square. And the client was Azerbaijan Airways Azal, which is also operating the airport passenger terminal. And the main architectural concept project was designed by Arup, uh, and with many other uh, valuable solution partners were involved as well. In this project, we are invited for its interior design. So, except back of housing and technical areas, all the other parts that a passenger could see, touch and experience uh, were our task of design. And as I hear, I mentioned bridges uh, of departure, coffee lounges, uh, passport control departures, social zones, etc. Anyway, it was a complete package. Then we started to skim the given infrastructure and as you may see, the plan resembles a bird in a flight. The entire construction is covered by a single shell with a form of triangulars on it and uh, the skylight with the glazing surface around it, the building uh, takes in a lot of, uh, plenty of daylight in it. In addition to this daylight, uh, the, the varying height, you may see in the section, the varying height of the organic roof uh, covering, covering, organic roof covering creates a very large volume. But thanks to this theatrical scene, uh, we had a very great plain area, a space, to de design something. It was, uh, it was very challenging for us. The challenge was to build in something, something uh, in order to reduce this gigantic volume to human scale. Without blocking the daylight and without also spoiling the large volume that the, the, that the architect's main team was creating a one big sp space, uh, we targeted putting functions into many architectural elements here. And these cocoon called structures that are banned from wood were designed. This series of 16 curved oak vineyard cocoons range from uh, the height from 6 meter to 10 meter and each housing a different, different amenities here also again. Creates an in, 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 in interior uh, it serves to a function, but also with the other side of it, it's also create a path, like a street. And this typology uh, brings out different intersection with it, like a, uh, like a surprising path and meeting points and piazzas. Instead of aligning retails side by side, a familiar feeling of street atmosphere had been brought out to this terminal. We believe that terminals create a sense uh, that we are in an industrial area with a lot of technical equipments in it. And we, as a designer, wanted to break this feeling with materials. And here we uh, prefer to use a, a palette uh, with natural colors and wood, uh, the materials that we know are familiar, wood, stone, and textiles. Within three-story terminal, uh, the checking counters 
the check-in counters and the baggage claims are located on the ground floor. Passengers who completed their check-in uh, can reach to the second floor uh, by the double height escalators or the lifts. And here our custom-made cocoons and duty-free uh, areas are welcoming the passengers. <coughs> this recreation lounges overlooks to the uh, overlooks to the baggage claim area throughout the throughout the triangular uh, openings. And there's one interesting issue with uh, Azeri culture, which encourages us to reserve, uh, reserve the first floor uh, for the need of their request. Uh, in Azeri culture, the people like to greet of people and welcome people in a big, large group. So uh, this large group needed a wide, uh, wide area to, to wait. And, uh, we reserve this level for, the food, for their needs, like uh, food, food courts, and retails. In our point of view, the interior design of a space cannot be considered without its surrounders. So we use the triangular geometry of the architectural structure and form the pattern with it. Later on, this pattern spread out all over our elements, from uh, carpets to cocoons and everywhere. Through, uh, throughout the terminals, we also created the, created the bespoken lights and fittings, including uh, air conditioning units, to add a sense of warmth. About the installation of the cocoons, the total structure is made from timber, from Ayus tree. This Ayus tree uh, is very, is very uh, important for us because of the, the features that it gives. First, uh, they are easily shaped with the elastic texture. And second, they are highly durable. The structure is based on a basket-like knitting, as you see. And the iron frame finishes its grids. And now I want to take a tour. To, to the terminal.
I'm sorry, it wasn't that short that I was expecting. But uh, anyway, thank you for listening. And again, sorry for my excitement also. Thank you for listening.